Okay, now that spring is about to kick in, that means insects are just about to stop flaring up on all our different plants. So today we're gonna to be talking about using the good insects to fight off the bad insects and this greatly underutilized product. Let's talk about it. Okay, so if you've been following us very long, we always try to look at the most environmentally friendly way to uh, solve problems, specifically insects. And so one of the biggest and most underutilized products uh, using beneficial insects to fight off the bad insects. We all reach for a bottle of pesticide at one point or another. But many people know about using ladybugs and um, some of the other products that are out there. Praying mantids are very popular. We've been carrying those for years. We'll have other videos on those later in the season. But today I want to talk about nematodes. Okay, so what is a nematode and why would I use it? So nematodes, I think of them as little tiny microscopic uh, ninja ninja worms. And so we've used them in the past to spray on our crops if we had some of the difficult crops to control. So say like thrips. We could mix up the solution. You had to let it sit for an hour or two. And then you go around and you spray all your plants down. That was pretty involved for a homeowner to do in the backyard. Then another company came around with one that they were predominantly marketing towards uh, lawn grubs. And it was, again, a little bit more involved to apply and it never really gained in traction, but it was quite effective. So if you were looking to control grubs in your lawn, but did not want to turn around and apply heavy chemicals, yes, these nematodes would work. And they'd actually give you residual control for I believe up to two years. But again, it was a little bit more cumbersome for applying. So this new company had made a few different products and now it makes it nice and easy. If you're familiar with house plants, at one point or another, you'll find these little black flies flying around called fungus nets. And it um, can play some havoc. And, it, and, and many times it just becomes more of a nuisance. You walk down, you sit down next to your house plant, maybe you bump the plant, and all of a sudden there's little flies, like little fruit flies flying all over the place. And then if you had um, a lawn and the grubs, you were limited by milky spore and some of these others that took much longer. So now this company made out these three new products. They're gonna alleviate all these issues. Let's take a closer look at the actual product. Okay, so this pot is probably one of the um, more interesting products that we got in. It's called a pot popper. It comes with eight little packets. And I don't know that it actually shows it inside there, but this is the one I was mentioning for house plants. Fungus gnats are so annoying. Oh, there it is. Um, all it is, is it has these little packets in there. Throw one of these packets inside your flower pot that you're having problems with fungus gnats or thrips, and then um, that's it, water it in. The key is these cannot really live without moisture. So they're a soil-borne um, insect uh, or, or nematode. And um, so they have, the key is with this is it looks like you have to water the pot every day for three days and kind of keep the soil really moist. But those little worms are gonna, in the microscopic, you're not gonna see worms crawling around inside. Uh, but they're going to go down there and all those are going to uh, hunt down the larvae of the fungus gnats in your pots. So this is a nice way of controlling them without a whole lot of work and um, not having to use insecticides inside your house. Okay, so the next version of this product is called Grub Buster. This one is, is marketed towards calling soil grubs and it, um, it works so much easier than the old one. Uh, you just have little pouches inside, take little pouches put them inside this dispenser. And this is just like a, a little, if you've ever used one, it's a, a hose on attachment. You just put it on the end of your garden hose, drop this inside the pouch, it mixes with water and it dispenses it. And it'll do up to 3000 square feet of lawn. And so uh, say early spring now, there, uh, there are some reports of cases of grubs that overwintered and are still doing some damage. And then again in the fall, you don't want to apply this in say May or June because the grubs have left. Uh, they turn into beetles and they're flying around laying their eggs and the cycle starts over again in summer. Um, but this is a really cool product. So if you're looking to control um, grubs in your lawn without using insecticides, this is a go-to product. And now this is the third one. This is kind of an all-purpose uh, insect control and it's a slow release. And, and this, I think the, the biggest issue with these are gonna be the, uh, I think if you have vegetable gardens, you try not to use insecticide, but certain in, uh, certain plants, especially some of the vegetables, will get borers that will get in there and um, tear apart your your some of the uh, cucumbers and uh, some of the other viney crops like that. So if you're having problems and you know you've got weevils or borers, something that's deep into the soil, and you don't want to be applying some of the heavy chemicals, this little salt and pepper shaker kind of dispenser makes it so much easier because you can just walk over and sprinkle it around your trouble areas. Uh, it does up to about 100 square feet. 
So it's not something you would go and just broadcast around your garden. This is more of a spot treatment. So if you're doing your vegetable gardens, flowers that you know have had chronic problems, uh, this uh, is a nice handy little dispenser that can just go around and, and just target treat certain areas. And I'll let the, uh, you're just gonna have to water it in pretty well and then um, completely effective at controlling a lot of those insects. Okay, so I try not to keep these videos as too much of an infomercial for just one particular product line. But anytime I find something that's completely unique uh, and that I just haven't run into or really resolves the problem, I'm trying to put these into the video format just because uh, we get the same questions over and over again and trying to find natural controls or effective insect controls without using pesticides is always a, a, a benefit for everybody. And these three products made it very effective, but all at the same time, uh, easy to apply. So I hope that helps. Take care.